Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne and we have got issue 23 of Eagle Moss's Build the DeLorean. Okay, before we get cracking on the magazine, couple of things. Who had a problem with MM screws then? After that video went up, oh my god, it just went mental with everyone's screws breaking. Uh, all I can think of is that the screws weren't hardened and um, yeah, they were really fragile. You may, you may as well have been using glass screws or something like that. Screws made of glass, not, you know, screws for glass. That makes sense. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, this is the second time that I've done this video. The build that you're about to watch, I've done before this, and unfortunately I didn't have this damn camera recording, so I've had to record an introduction and an end. Um, so at the end of this, I am going to have that giveaway for the two binders and the graphic novel, uh, so that's going to be coming up. Uh, and basically... This is what the unit looks like. The other thing that people have pointed out is I didn't connect that little pipe just there. I've connected it now, so that's all done. But that's what it's going to look like finished once you've watched this video coming up. Uh, so without further ado, let's get on with the magazine. Okay, so issue 23. Magazines are getting a lot um, thinner now. I've noticed that as well. Uh, but there you go. That's the uh, what we've got in this bit. A lot to do with the distributor. And I've already heard there's going to be a problem or a bit of a fiddly bit to put the dipstick in. So uh, let's see how that goes. But we've basically got a page of stuff there, page there. And once again, three pages, just this bit doing here. Um, we've got that about the enclose of the engine. That's what it's looking like in the film. Uh, notice they don't really go too much detail of the gearbox there. And uh, last but not least, uh, a little bit about plutonium. <laughs> and this is what's coming in the next issue here, uh, which looks to be a lot of the cam belt and stuff like that. So that's going to be a fun, fiddly thing to do. Uh, and that's what we got in this magazine. So I'm going to put this over here where I uh, work from and let's get cracking on it. Um, OK, this is the pack of uh, screws and stuff that we got here. Hopefully we won't get any breakages this time. Um, Get these out of here. I'm just going to move my microphone over so you can hear me a little bit better. There we go. Um, okay, so we've got that little lot there. Be careful when I cut around this because we've got the dipstick in this one. There. And last but not least, whatever this is. <laughs> and some AP screws again. Uh, I do use the screws that come with the packages rather than the ones that I've got in my... Uh, Trust the old pillbox here because um, they're just more convenient to have them at the time. Uh, okay, so we're going to be attaching something to the engine first. So the engine they want us round this way because we're going to be working on this side here, I believe, where the I think that's the oil filter is. Uh, and the first thing they want me to do is to put this section here, this piece here, you see that, onto uh, the uh, engine. I'm just trying to figure out which way round it goes. It actually goes. Uh, they're showing this piece sorry I'm, I'm showing the wrong piece here it's actually this piece here that's actually used I was going to say they're showing an, an indent so it's definitely this piece don't be using that piece it's this piece here and that's going to be going on the engine uh, I'm guessing where these two holes are here you see that they're going to be sort of mounted to that just like that and this is going to be done with AM screws which I believe they would have gave us there we go, AM screws. The other screws they've got are AP there, DM, oh, I hate DM screws, <laughs> and uh, these AM. So hopefully, hopefully, let's get these scissors out of the way. Uh, we're not going to have a nightmare with the uh, with the screws, putting them in. <laughs> let's have a look. We'll get the first one in. I'm loading this screwdriver up, as you can see. Oops, I don't like. I've got my favourite screwdriver, even though they're identical. I think one of them might be slightly rounded, so... Uh, that may be the reason for that, but uh, I'm going to start this going and then uh, I'll try and make it better for you to actually see what I'm doing. So the first one does not want to go in. Get in there. And there we go. I've started that a little bit. Let's get the next one in. And then we'll go hard on it. Now, if you haven't glued down your pipes, uh, this is going to be a very fiddly build for you because... This is taking quite a bit of effort to screw in, I have to say. So, I'm just trying to find a bearable. There we go, that's better. I'm pushing this hard down into the table so I can get a good grip on these screws. The last thing I want is another bloody screw breaking. 
Okay. So there we go. That bit's on. That looks like that there. Oh, look, it's a little bit loose still. Let's see if I can tighten that up a little bit more. Again, I don't want to be rounding heads. I'm being quiet because I'm using all my force <laughs> to get these in without rounding heads. There you go. That's better. That's much tighter in there. Okay, so that looks like that there. Okay, next one, we're going to be going to step two, which uh, we're just putting this over to one side for a minute because we're going to be dealing with these two items here. Uh, basically, the one with the, uh, I don't know, the thing coming out that way with the flat edge, not the internal edge, is going to be pointing out. And this one's just going to be slipping over the top of it, just like so. So we have these two things lined up here. You see that from the top there? Uh, and this is going to be connected uh, by a screw through this end here. And the screw it wants me to use is the uh, AP screw, which is the smaller ones. Let's put these over here so I don't get them confused. Get them out the bag. Now, I've got four lots of R2-D2 to build. And I've also got some um, Star Wars helmet collections. Uh, I'm going to start them probably today. And uh, I don't think I'll be doing them over the weekend though. So you will probably see them uh early next week but we'll see we'll see if i get time um i'm not tightening that up fully because i want to make sure that these are completely lined up and then i can just move them around no problems at all so it looks like that that was step two done uh we're going to be mounting this to the engine now which is going uh if i bring this back over here uh just like that so you can see it um uh, trying to figure out where this goes it's going to be going on the bracket on the bottom bit of this bracket here it's going to basically be to make sure I put it the right way around. Yeah, it goes with this end pointing towards there. Uh, it's going to be going on that bit just like that. Uh, and it's going to be held in or bolted in with an AP screw. Uh, there's an AP screw going into one side, then an AP screw going into the other. So I'm going to do the one on the fiddly side first to get that done, which is here. Please go in okay. As you can see, it's moving around a little bit but I'm not putting them in again tight, tightly until I've put it in the position that I want it to be in. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know what the position is yet. Uh, oh, this is going to be fiddly. Right. I've already been told that this, uh, these two are quite fiddly, so this isn't going to come as a shock to me. And I'm doing this up with my left hand, which probably looks good on camera, but uh, it's terrible for me. <laughs> Okay, and we do the other side here. There is still a bit of a woggle in this, but I'm not going overly tight on it because uh, that's just asking for trouble. But there we go. That is the um, the alternator. That's the alternator, that bit. That's the alternator on. Uh, and that was steps three and step four. Now, that bit that I mistaked at the start, this bit here is going to be going just underneath the alternator. It's like a bracket. Uh, and there's actually a hole, if you can see that there, in the engine block, uh, which this is going to attach to. Um, again, it is directional. It goes with this indent here pointing outwards for the engine. So it's going to be going on uh, just like that, if you like. Uh, and the other end of it is going to be going on to that little nipple that we've got on the uh, alternator there. So I'm going to get that in there now, and then that will basically detail where the alternators or how the alternator's got to sit. So it's going to look just like that. Uh, that is secured with an AM screw. Uh, which was one of these ones. Let's put that that way around. <laughs> I'm convincing myself I'm using the right screw. Uh, and I'm going to turn this around for a second while I get this one screwing. Oops. Yeah, this is going to be fiddly. Fiddly, fiddly, fiddly. All right, let's try that again. Ah, too fiddly. And I don't really want to... Um, just double check again. I don't really want to uh, muck around with the, um, you know, turning this model around and stuff to get it in because uh, I don't want to pull out all this pipe work that we put in. That would just be a living nightmare. Well, I've got it in, so it's just a case of tightening it up. Now this AM is going in fine, but there we go. That's that bit in. And that basically dictates how the alternator sits. If I put that that way around, actually, it dictates how the alternator sits on the engine. Uh, so it's looking like 
like that. Can you see that from the side? That looks pretty cool, actually. Whoops, there you go. I like that. Okay, so that's two pages done, step five. So, right, step six, they want me to put this dreaded dipstick in. Right, the dipstick goes in this side here, but it's going to be going through this little pipe manifold thing here into this little hole there. So that bit's the easy bit. I'm just checking I've got a hole. Okay, the, the, the pipe hasn't got a hole in it, so it's going to actually be, it's quite solid. It's going to be going into that hole there. I think the easiest way to do this, um, I can't really show you on the top camera, is I'm going to put it through the first half of the manifold here, just like that. And then to get it in there, I'm going to use the tweezers that they gave us. So the uh, dipstick does face with a hook facing towards the engine. Let's see if these tweezers are going to help me get this in. I've already been told this is going to be a living nightmare. Okay, the tweezers, I tell you now, aren't holding it very good. Now these are the tweezers that they supplied. So... If, that, if I can't get this in, which I'm going to try again, I'm going to try another set of tweezers. No, I'm going to try my other tweezers that I've got in my ball of tricks here. I might be able to get a bit of a, bit more of a, a hold on that. There we go. Uh, there you go. That's in. Perfect. <laughs> so yeah, the tweezers they come pretty crap. These tweezers, these are just like a, you know, eyebrow tweezers, I suppose. Uh, that worked a treat. So that's the dipstick in. Uh, next bit, we've got uh, a couple of brackets to put on. Now the brackets are going to be going on uh, these two sides here of the uh, gearbox housing, uh, and they are directional. So uh, we're going to have uh, just looking at this. Uh, this one. Is going to be going on this side over there and that's connected with a, a dm screw so we'll get them open and the other one's just going to go on the other side so let's get that one in dm screws are a lot bigger than the screws we've used before so uh they do look a lot better they're a lot easier to work with as well but um <laughs> i've also had the biggest problems with dm screws so I'll get these two in and I'll show you exactly what I've done once they're in. That's the first one in. And that's the second one in. There we go. And that looks just like that. Show you on the top camera and the side camera. That's what that looks like. Let's do the other side. Mirrors exactly what we've just done. And again, it can only go in one way. If you try and put it in the other way, uh, it won't attach to the engine block at all. Uh, this one might be a bit more fiddly for me because I'm not left-handed. So it's uh, hmm. I'm trying to figure out a way to hold this so I can get this in. There we go. I'm gonna put one in very lightly. I'm gonna get the other one in. I am scared that the uh, with these metal ones, they don't seem to want to go in all the way normally. And it gives you a bit of a woggle, so you, ha you are having to turn it round, but that's imperfectly there. So there we go, you've got the two brackets in there. That's how that's looking there. And that is the final bit that we had to do on issue 23. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, let's talk about some of these giveaways. We're going to be giving away the graphic novel. Uh, which has never been used. Look, the spine's still unbroken. And I've got two binders to give away as well. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a draw for these on about the 20th of June. All you need to do is like this video and put in the comments what you would like, if you'd like the binder or the uh, graphic novel. I'll pick three people at random because I'm going to do two binders, one uh, graphic novel, and then I'll direct mail you to get the address details off you. Don't worry about postage, I'll cover that and I'll get this sent out to you. Uh, but yeah, I don't use them, so uh, I'd rather give them away, I think, so that's that. Um, other than that, I hope you really did enjoy this video. I've got some R2-D2 builds coming soon, and I've also got the Star Wars helmet collection. Other than that, take care.